And we're cutting across to breaking news that's coming in from the Rajasthan High Court. Sachin Pilot Camp MLA Prithviraj Meena's petition demanding that the centre be made a party in the case has been accepted now by the Rajasthan High Court. This was something that did lead to, in fact, uh, quite a bit of tense arguments as well because uh, the Gelot Camp Council, in fact, had uh, argued that in this particular case, this is uh, a last-ditch uh, effort to include the centre after filing a half-baked plea in which the centre wasn't made a party. Dev Ankur is joining us with more details on this. Dev, does this mean that this particular plea has been accepted and which means uh, that, you know, the council's arguments that this particular uh, request for the centre to be made a party shouldn't be accepted has been dismissed? Uh, well, with the Rajasthan Assembly Speaker's Council is maintaining the oxidized fact this is an ex post facto uh, curing of the defect and on that basis the entire petition by the pilot group itself should be squashed. They maintain that uh, the, the, there is a defect in the petition and it is not maintainable and given the fact that there have been several hearings in which several senior lawyers including Mukul Rohatki and uh, uh, Harish Salve represented certain pilot group uh, but despite that uh, uh, at this point in time uh, when, the, when the case is at such an advanced Stage, how can the pilot group come up with uh, asking for a cure in the in the petition itself? And on that basis, uh, the, the Rajasthan Assembly Speaker has claimed in the court that uh, this petition is not maintainable and should be quashed itself. Akshita? Dave, we understand now uh, in the Rajasthan High Court, the center is now presenting its arguments. Uh, well, Akshita, uh, this is this is this is how the, this is a procedural matter. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the pilot group should have had uh, the, the Union of India made a party to the entire proceedings at the beginning itself. Uh, uh, but as far as legal experts are concerned, they maintain that this was not done and it was a lapse on the part of the council of the pilot group. And when that was not done, that can be uh, made a basis for uh, the, the Rajasthan High Court to consider the crashing of the petition and asking. Uh, the pilot group to file a fresh petition in the case and that can, uh, you know, take more uh, more time and more delays. As far as this particular case is concerned, uh, you would know that uh, the matter is already pending before the Supreme Court and the Apex Court had mentioned that the High Court can go ahead and deliver its verdict. But when the entire petition as far as the Rajasthan Assembly Speaker and the Rajasthan Government is concerned is defective, then how the court proceeds in this matter is something will be interesting to watch out for. Okay, Dave, for the moment, thank you for joining us. We'll continue tracking uh, closely all the updates that are coming in from the Rajasthan High Court. A verdict expected today. As of now, the center's arguments are being heard by the High Court. Hello, everyone. This is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.